These guys are so cute. Okay, here's David, my good friend and adventurer, with out with, with me. He's got himself a beautiful shamrock he's found this morning. And uh, she's um, quite active. There are no flies sitting on her, but she'd probably like a few. Beautiful gray coloring. And that's that, of course, that black and white knuckle legs. And I don't think we're going to get her to sit still anytime soon, but at least we'll get some, get some camera work. Oh, here we go. There she is. David, nice fine, nice spider you got there. Yeah, she's pretty. She's gorgeous. I may have to rethink, this could be a marbled orb weaver, maybe. Really? No, possible. Some of the front end um, well, patterning. Oh, man, she pooped on me. Oh, yeah, I don't you love that? Look at that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I saw her stopping there, and I saw her abdomen kind of yeah, move. Yeah, she pooped on you there, too. Look at you. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, she won't, she won't I'll by tell you poop. what. It's still not as bad as being boxed by a snake. Yeah. <laughs> hey, she's really sharp. Good find, Dave. Cool. David Lawson here has a marbled orb weaver. She's one of the more beautiful spiders you can find this time of year. Has the beautiful orange legs and the white legs with the knuckle black or brown areas. And then why they call them marbled is because of those little black squiggly lines on that abdomen looking like marble. She wants to hide, so she's looking for a dark area to get to. And today he has a cross orb weaver, which might slow down for us. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but this little spider actually has a white cross. If you look closely, if he does stop, we might be able to see it. He has a white cross right behind his head on the top part nearest his head on his abdomen and thus the name uh, cross uh, cross orb weaver and they have a, usually a pointed tail which you can kind of see here and uh, he's starting to slow down a little bit so that's good David the, the spider whisperer must be whispering to the spider to relax so he's webbing up Dave I just is he webbing you up Dave yeah I can feel it yeah <laughs> he's it's webbing cool, Dave up though. He is uh, he's a cool spider. He's a common spider. You find him around your Oops. house a lot. But uh, um, it's got a nice pattern on it, and it's a cool spider. You know, he's uh, she. This is a she, excuse me. Uh, most of the males are gone this time of year. Hopefully she's already been impregnated, so when she lays her egg, all will be well for next year's crop spiderlings. So there you have it, the cross orb weaver and David holding it. I don't even bother, I don't have to brag about him anymore because this is becoming a daily thing for him now. He's, the only thing he's afraid of, he tells me, is caterpillars. There's some caterpillars he just doesn't like. <laughs> right, Dave? Yeah, they give me the, give me the creeps. They give him the woolly bullies. Yeah. <laughs> All right, there you have it. Dave and his new handheld spider, the cross orb weaver. Learn this from you, Bob.
she's a good sized one. I don't know. I put my finger. Pretty sweet. Pretty cool. Quite a few wolf spiders with their babies. Or not. Mm. Give it a shot. Mm -hmm. It looks focused to me. I can see it. There you go, that's a good one. Okay, here you go. Now she's noticing you're a little warmer than the plastic, but that's fine. Just gonna check you out. Got her, she's keeping her web here just for safe tidings. She don't like me. <laughs> Did you not take a shower this morning? I know it strikes the fear in your heart because it is the most venomous spider in North America. Black Widow. Move her legs. <laughs> Bob and his Black Widow and the babies. I affectionately call her... What's the, the song? By Santana? Black Magic Woman! I and the know Black it. Magic Woman comes through with over a hundred babies this morning. Sweet. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> few babies, baby black widows on my hand. They tickle. Oh, they do.
this is my brave friend. He let me put black widows all over him. He's got about 20, 20 here, maybe. <laughs> all right, get him off. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just joking. Get off. <laughs> Watch it, they bite. <laughs> Are they off? Some of them. Oh, there's one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> a marbled orb weaver. And where is he? Oh, there he is. He's, he's uh, going up the web here. Right under Dave's hand. And there he is. Look, look at the beautiful coloring on this, on this gorgeous girl. Um, marbled orb weaver. They have these beautiful zigzag patterns. And then the sides of the body is where you can see the marbling. <laughs> but, but she ain't cooperating because she's uh, in, busy moving. So I'm just going to try to keep up with her. And Dave's going to try to keep her on his hands at least. Because she's a moving here. She's a moving girl. She's a... Look at there. No, she's in the dark. Oh, there we are. She's a mover and a shaker. <laughs> I lost her. Where is she? There she is. Dave almost squished her. That would have amounted to a bite. <laughs> All right, and uh, this is, he's been holding lots of spider these days, which I'm really proud of him for doing that. And I'm sure the friends of his on Facebook who see him holding spider just go, yuck. <laughs> you gotta be a spider lover to love spiders like Dave and I do. One of these spiny bat spiders. Pretty neat. Here's a little nursery web spider. What a beauty. Just hanging out on this milkweed. We uh, had some good luck here. David's got walking on his hand uh, from the um, family Argiope, or OGOP, depending on how you want to pronounce the spider's name. And this one, it, uh, I can't give you the exact name. Uh, it may be somewhere in the banded RGOP species, but there's two, we have two different ones that we brought home. Uh, so I'm not sure exactly the two different species, but that's a good guess anyway. And it may be the same species with just a little, little different coloration between the species. So there's one that David's allowing to walk on his hands. He's come a long way from a few years ago, and uh, this would not be the thing you'd want to do at all. So, David, good job. Let's get the other one out. All right, this is the other one. I believe they're both from the Argiope banded species. This one just has different coloration. Yeah. <laughs> it keeps hopping off. David thinks it's a frog that it keeps hopping off. All right. There's a nice close-up shot of this girl. She's settling down a little bit now. You can see the beautiful coloration. Um, on her abdomen, on her back side, as well as a uh, little different coloration on her, on her front side as well. So, there is David one more time handling the Argiopes. Nice. Got a golden garden spider here. Really pretty. Now what'd you say, Bob, about her legs being brown instead of black? Yeah, this particular species, and I haven't found enough research on it yet, most of these golden gardens, the Argiopes, will have um, black markings on the yellow, 
you look close at that abdomen, it's brown actually, as well as her legs. They're tan with brown rings or banding, which is unusual. I've only seen a few of these. I don't know exactly if it has a different name other than it's, well, it's Argiope, but there might be a different species of this with this coloration. The front legs on a normal, well, I shouldn't say normal, but on most Argiopes, black and yellow, um, will have pitch black legs from head all the way out to the point of the toes. And that's on the front two legs on either side of the head. The next legs will have near the body orange or reddish color um, near the femur and then the rest of the legs are also black. So this is a very unusual coloration for this spider. And Dave's being nice here to allow her to enjoy the warmth of his hand. Oh, you remember my technique? <laughs> just just put the webbing right over the top of this plant. Oh, so they go here. back? Yeah. You think they'll come back? Oh yeah, they'll all gather. Can I get that one off? Where's he at? They're yeah, all... I don't see him. Just blow on your hand now, make sure they're all... <laughs> yeah, they're all... They'll all, oh. re they'll all re oh, there's a whole bunch here too. Yep. Oh, I gotta get back up. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this banded Argiope has just laid her egg. She was quite a bit bigger. I mean, the egg is as big as her almost. But she looks tired. She's a fat soul. <laughs> that golden garden and this one, and not to say also the, uh, what's the other one? Marble orb weavers. Those are my favorite. This might have been a male. I hope he fertilized her. Oh, pretty cool. This is my good buddy Dave. And uh, obviously he's well over his fear of spiders because he's holding this pretty good size RGOP Golden Garden spider. He's even got her, he, he must be the spider whisperer because she is so content and quiet right now. Just relaxing right there on his hand. Look at that. Hey, oh man, you scared me. What the heck? I gotta check my underpants. <laughs> oh, make me laugh. <laughs> and don't drop my nice spider. <laughs> All right, so that's David and the RGOP, and we're beeping for some reason. How come I beep like that? Is mine beeping? Well, maybe it was mine. I don't know. 
Okay. Oh, good. Let her comb over your wristwatch. That would be a good idea of size. Maybe you there. You'll slip on that, though. Oh, look at him go. Holy smoke. Well, you know goodbye spiders. They're no, I think I know blowing what the... them all down. That's a bummer. Uh, goodbye spiders. Praying mantis and everything else. Unbelievable.